Yo guys and welcome back to the new Professor Evil challenge. This one is the hardest one ever created and it literally took me like two hours to beat it. Um, this one is so tough man. Uh, but I finally came up uh, with a strategy, of course with the help of another fellow YouTuber. You can go and check out his video, I will link it in the description. Um, but yeah, we'll be starting off with a balloon chipper here. And believe it or not, we're pretty much just going to be using zero, zero balloon chippers for this challenge. It's really not effective to upgrade them at all, um, unless you want to go for lead detection, which you will only need like around 10. So yeah, we're just going to be spamming balloon chippers here. And if we check out our powers, we can see we have the range boost, which we will need all three of them. We've got road spikes. I'm not going to use road spikes for this one. Um, and then we've got the super eco boost. Uh, we will once again use all three of these. So six energies for this attempt. Make sure you have, uh, you know, six of them. So yeah, uh, we're just going to be continuously spamming these balloon chippers. I end up putting one on strong, I think, for round four. Um, you can also just leave them all on first, but I think it's more effective to, uh, to put one of them on strong. Um, yeah, so we're going to be getting up our last balloon chipper before boosting. In two seconds, one and go. So yeah, we got another balloon chipper there. The placement doesn't really matter too much, but um, you want to make space for the monkey village. That's why I did place the monkey farmer. Uh, so that's going to be where we're going to place our village later on. So yeah, we boost on round four and we do defend. Uh, make sure to boost pretty late because as you can see, he's going to use one of his sabo powers. Um, so make sure to boost quite late to defend all of these balloons. If you do it correctly, you will leak zero lies on round four. Uh, or like round five, so that's pretty good. Um, also, we will be using our super ego boost a bit late for this one. I think like round eight, uh, 11 and 15, something like that. And we will also be using the farm, surprisingly. Um, but uh, only later on, because for now, we really have to focus on defending. So I end up putting three balloon chippers on strong. You know, the ones on the bottom right are all on strong. Because as you might know, um, you know, weaker balloons are uh, slower. So... For example, these greens are much faster than the red balloon. So if you end up popping all of these greens to like blues, you actually have more time to defend. Uh, that's why I ended up putting all of these on strong. And uh, yeah, we just continuously spam these balloon chippers. And if you do a decent job, you will actually leak like barely any lives at all. As you can see, I don't know how many we end up leaking, like 10, 20 maybe. Uh, if, if, you, if you're too slow, you will leak way more. So make sure to place them as fast as possible. Um, also don't place them too spread out because you will place your village later on and you want all of them to be in the range So by the way guys only a really small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed um, So if this video ended up helping you out and you want to see more professor evil videos in the future uh, Make sure to subscribe that would really help me out But yeah, as you can see professor evil is going to be rushing with some yellows here And if you have enough balloon chippers you will defend these with ease um yeah, we did a great job here. So yeah, I used also I also used one of my income boosts. I don't quite know when. I think it was around eight. And uh, yeah, by the way, here you have to go for your two O blue chipper. Okay, that's the only way we can actually defend leads. You know the lead balloons. So make sure to go for one of these on strong, and on the two O upgrade. If you don't have enough money, you can just sell one of your balloon chippers. Okay, so around twelve, we will need the cow detection. So you want to go for your O two village. As you can see, we were able to afford it, which is really good. So we have the cam detection, and uh, yeah, all of our balloon chippers are in the range. So that's perfect. Right here on round 12, we're going to go for the farm. So it's quite tough um, to place the village correctly, but if you place it correctly, the farm will actually be in its range, and uh, it's going to be much cheaper. So that's quite important. You want to have the farm in the range of the village. And we end up going for a plantation, which is the 2-0 upgrade. Uh, just for a few rounds, we will set it around 18, but that means we will have four rounds of bananas, which is really good. Um, yeah, we're just pretty much going to be spamming zero, zero balloon chippers here. It's going to be like a massive army of balloon chippers at this point. Uh, I think I have most of them, pretty much all of them on first. Um, you know, just that, uh, you know, that 2-0 balloon chipper is going to be the one on strong because that's, you know, going to be our balloon chipper for the leads pretty much. Because Professor Evil is going to be rushing us around 16 with some region leads. So you want to have at least one of them on strong. Okay, so that's going to clear the leads. And the rest of the balloon chip is going to be uh, clearing the rest of the balloons. 
And it's really important to boost here. I try to not boost, but that nearly cost me the game. So make sure to boost in round 16. I boost super late and I nearly die there, as you can see. Um, you know, it, it looked pretty good, but I ended up getting overwhelmed here by these pinks. So make sure to boost in round 16 and you will be uh, absolutely good. Okay, so I also use my final income boost in round 17. It's a little late, you could probably use it in round 15. Um, but yeah, now is when the crucial part happens. You want to sell your farm and sell your village as well. You also want to go for the 2-0 village. As you can see, I sold my 0-2 one and went for the 2-0, uh, which increases the range and the popping power. I then sell the farm. As you can see, I slowed down the footage just so you guys can see. I sell the farm and end up going for the 4-0 uh, balloon chipper, which pops the Moabs, as you can see. Super wild funnel. Um, Got that up, and as soon as you can see, as soon as that pops that Moab class balloon, you want to sell it and go for three balloon chippers on strong, all of them to a 2-0. Okay, so I sell it, it was pretty close, 2-0, 2-0, and 2-0, all of them on strong, because you need three to be able to um, pop all of these ceramics. So all of these ceramics were sucked in, which buys us some time to place down 0-0 zero, zero balloon chippers on our screen. Uh, you have to do this super fast. I know this is slow motion, but if you do it fast enough, uh, you will end, the, end up defending. So I try to place as many as possible. I think I place one more right in the corner and then I boost. Uh, it's quite important to boost as late as possible here because uh, these balloons are going to stay on the screen for a very long time. Because as you can see, look how many rainbows we have. They pop into zebras and whites and all that. So you want to boost super late and if you do everything correctly, you will defend. It's quite easy once you know what to do but of course the hardest part is going to be um, you know popping that Moab selling that uh, fourth tier balloon chipper and getting up these three uh, two O balloon chippers on strong so that re requires some decent micro um, I don't know guys it's it's really tough there's nothing I can tell you it's it's crazy <laughs> hardest challenge in the game so if you don't end up beating this it's fine I mean you will definitely be able to beat the Friday challenge but uh, if you do end up beating this challenge, then props to you. Hopefully this tutorial did end up helping you out. Um, man, this was crazy. Uh, literally like two hours spent beating this. Um, but it was quite fun. Like you end up seeing how good the village and the balloon chippers uh, really are. And I found out that zero zero balloon chippers are better than actually upgrading them to like a one O, because you might know the one O balloon chipper it says it increases the speed of the attack power, but in the end, getting up 0-0 zero, zero balloon chippers is better, so that's that's a cool thing to know. Um, and yeah, right here, I do some of BFB. <laughs> no point in doing that, really. I just do it for fun, and uh, you will be able to defend round 20, and that's going to be it. And thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.